Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invest. Is buy now, pay later companies making a bit of a comeback? We have seen a significant rally in a few of these companies' share price today on the January the 23rd, led by Cezzle, whose share price rallied 37% on the back of a positive business update. And this positiveness in Cezzle translated to a few other buy now, pay later companies, including Zip, who saw their share price increase 23%. So let's have a look at one of the reasons and the main reason why Cezzle share price increased 37% today at their December business update. The catalyst behind this rally in Cezzle share price was this December business update announcement the company released today on January the 23rd, strong revenue growth and second straight month of profitability. And that's the most important word here, profitability. So one of the reasons why many of these buy now, pay later companies have share price have been absolutely smashed over the past 18 months was because of their business model and burning through a lot of cash. So the market wants to see these companies reach profitability. And Cezzle is shouting to the world right now that they are profitable on an adjusted EBITDA basis. So EBITDA is E-B-T-D-A. So that is not something I'm too familiar with, but they decided for some reason to leave out interest. So EBITDA without the I is earnings before taxation, depreciation, and amortization. So I'm not going to go through the whole business update. In fact, I'm really going to, only going to show you this one little graph that they included in the announcement, which shows you the non-GAAP adjusted EBITDA for each quarter over the last five, including the last quarter in financial year 21 and the most recent quarter. The main thing to take away from this is how op adjusted operating expenses have been decreasing over the past year from 57.4 billion to 34.6 billion. And this is exactly what companies like Cezzle had to do to become profitable. And the other major important thing to take away from this is we have, or Cezzle, have started to see their total income increasing. In fact, from the last quarter to this quarter, it has increased from 30.4 million to 38.4 million. And this is the first quarter where total income has exceeded adjusted total, uh, adjusted operating expenses. In fact, it's not only exceeded it, it's exceeded by almost $4 million. So what is non-GAAP adjusted EBITDA? without the I, without the interest. It's sort of the profit that company would have if it did not include any sort of expense that had an impact on their underlying performance of their business operations. So that means non-cash charges are not included, like depreciation, amortization of intangible assets, equity and incentive-based compensation, and also excludes one-time charges like merger-related costs and reimbursements of such merge-related costs, and also write-offs of unamortized debt issuance. And the market has reacted really well to this particular announcement. Share price up 37.6%. So me saying it was only up 37% is undoing a little bit. 37.6%. Not only that, the share price closed at the high of the day, which is actually a really bullish sign. So this particular sizzle chart goes back to May of last year. We did see a little bit of a hype period, not only in Cezzle, but other buy now, pay later companies back in late July. We saw the share price of Cezzle run up from, was it 19 cents all the way up to about $1.50 in a very short period of time. That sort of run up is not sustainable. And then the share price started dripping down on much lower volume until the last few weeks. We started to see a little bit of a rally in the share price, but it was on low volume until today. So the share price at the end of closing was 75 cents. And that means the share price is at about a five month high. And I think this sort of rally could be more sustainable than what we saw in July. And it seems like that exuberance we saw in Cezzle share price today translated to a few other buy now pay later companies on the ASX, particularly Zip. Zip share price rallied 22.8% today on the 23rd of January on no news. So obviously, this probably was driven by that excitement in Cezzle. This is a fairly similar looking chart than Cezzle with that uh, run up in share price in late July, a significant run up when the share price for Zip went from about 44 cents 
to a high of about a dollar and seventy cents, and then just like Sezzle, share price had been dripping lower since then, got down almost to the lows we saw back in June, but the share price did rally today up to thirty or eighty-three and a half cents. So this could be the turnaround point for not only Sezzle and not only Zip, but potentially also the other buy now pay later companies. So hang on to your hats. Potentially, the sentiment in these companies is starting to turn around. And that is all I have for today's video on buy now pay later's potential comeback. Led by Sezzle, share price up 37% on a positive business update. And we also saw Zip rally about 23%. So potentially, the sentiment in this space is started to shift from highly negative about one year ago to say neutral or even possibly positive. So if you do have any questions, any thoughts about buy now, pay later, about Sezzle or Zip, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So leave it in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.